Hello, today I want to explain to you about how to build a chatbot using a LLM model and in this case I am using here a LLM-based best model but the detail is I am using here Merak 7 billion version 1 and this is the Indonesian language model so some some point that I want to highlight for in this Google Collab that to make this possible I am using bits and bytes LoRa and Path. Without this we can fit the LLM model to the Google Collab. Okay? I will explain this Google Collab step by step. Okay in here oh yeah I will not run this because you know the process when I click this it will be take a long time to run so I will just explain to you okay so here first we must update this is update repository and then we install some essential tool here and after that we install some module of python here we need bits and bytes, datasets, this is from Hugging Face, Accelerate, and Lora Lib. And in here we have the transformer from the Hugging Face. This is the path. And this is the sentence piece. This is needed because we're using a llama model. Okay. And after that, we log in to the Hugging Face. If I run this, it they will this Google Collab will prompt uh, some yeah it will prompt uh, some input to insert your token and you can find your token in the in your Hugging Face account and here this is the setup model yeah. Actually, this Google Collab is not 100% I built myself. This is the merge of some Google Collab that I find when I want to learn about this. I find from the YouTube, I find from the Google, and here we are. Okay, in here, we using the Merak 7 billion version 1. And this is the bits and bytes config. In here, as you can see, we using a 4-bit so why we using 4-bit model because uh, okay first I want to explain usually when you build a model the wake the wake and bias is in 32 bit and it will be very very heavy when you use that in this in especially in the free version of Google Collect it will not fit and you will need a more bigger or more powerful GPU and to make the model more lighter we can reduce from 32 bit to the 4 bit and actually there's some model if I'm not wrong there's some model that the wake and bias in 64 bit and it will be more heavier okay this is the config and after that we download the pre-trained model of this actually this is the this mera 7 million is a llama based model and after that we get the tokenizer and for the tokenizer i already explained about this in my previous video you can check in my channel and after that we mount the drive and then this is the virgin original way so we need to do this oh yeah I forget to mention about LoRa so in here we load a model in 4 bit and that is Clora Q LoRa and for LoRa, actually, LoRa is like this. Mm. 
Yeah. I think this is the perfect image to explain about LoRa. So here, this is the original Wake and Bias. Actually, when we using LoRa, we add a uh, addition Wake and Bias. But but yeah, this is make the layer increase. But actually. The number of wake and bias in here will be fewer than the original wake and bias. Actually, there's no bias. Usually, people will just mirror the wakes without bias. And in here, to do to do it like this, we need to freeze the original wake. In here, the blue box in here, we need to freeze it. That's why we must run this. And then in here we setting the LoRa adapter. Here we get the path model. Yeah, actually the path in here is the path in here is to make our life easier to set the LoRa. And then here we reach the data section and actually the data set that I'm using here is the WhatsApp chat between I and someone and because this is the private chat I think I can share the data and you know you have you all have WhatsApp right so actually you can export your chat and you can use that for the data set and then in here this is the operation that where I oh yeah I forget to explain so the data in here is there is uh, two columns that is prom and response prom as you, as you know it's like a question and the response is like the answer so here the question is, you know, it's from the user and the response in here or answer is from the AI. So, after that, we will merge this column to new column. So, it will be like that. So, the question plus, this is, actually, you can change this. You can change like this or whatever anything you want just make sure that this character will be very unlikely in the response okay so this this is just like conjunction between the prom and the response and then after that we convert the sentence in here to the number using tokenizer so here we have the prediction the new column that we merge the sentence and then after that after we do the tokenizer we will get the input ids and then attention mask this is that i already explained in my previous previous video too and actually this is the script that I used to build the dataset we expect the bot that it's remember or acknowledge the uh, our previous chat right here I append the conversation so from the user and the AI I append them like this and the padding is the EOS token like this so with this way I hope the bot can know or can acknowledge the context of the conversation. This is the additional step, the selection process. Why I do this? Because in my previous experiment, when I am not do the selection process, the model or the Google Collab is stopped. It say the GPU memory is run out. And the reason why that happened is because the token is too long. I assured all the long token in here 
here I set the threshold the threshold is 600 so all the conversation that that exceed this 600 token will be excluded this is the function to set the data set and after that after I run the script I upload the data set to the Google Drive okay this is the step for the training in here I set the batch as 4 so when you have a standard GPU memory like in this free version of Google Colab make sure to make this number low and in here this is the gradient accumulation so usually when you doing the when you train a model when the neural network get the gradient it will be follow up by the learning algorithm to update all the weight and bias but in here we accumulate them until four step and after four step it will be updated and then if we run this we will get something like this this is the loss i train them until 300 step and after we finish the training make sure to save the model because we using the LoRa in here here instead of save all of this original way we instead save this the light version of the the light version of the wake and yeah and because of that the size that we save in here is only 33 megabyte after we save that yeah if you want to run the model you just need to load the adapter and the model the main advantage of this LoRa is to make the training or fine-tuning of the pre-trained model become more portable and that we can run the model like this so as you can see here I waiting for the input for the I waiting for the input of user and after that I append the input from the user to this so you know this right this is the conjunction that we used previously as you can see here the composition is the user input the conjunction and the answer if we cut this what we left is here the answer from the board so that's why we do the operation like this okay let's run this let's say because this is the Indonesian model so I will use the Indonesian language so let's say hello oh you can see here actually the person that that the data that I use for in here is he always using emote like this but actually he never use this emote but I can forge that this person always using many emote when he chat me let's say apa kabar the max new tokens in here that it's to make sure that the maximum token that reproduce in this model will be 200 and temperature in here is to make sure that the response when we ask the same question it will be not same actually if you set it as one it will give you the best answer but because it's the best answer when you ask the same question it will always respond with the same answer the do sample here is the requirement 
to activate the temperature below 1 like this and as you can see here the response is when I say apa kabar it just emote like this let's check it again apa kabar and as you can see here despite we using the same question the answer is different and maybe you wonder why the response is so chaotic like this it's like a just random answer it's because I lack the data set I think in my next video or in my next experiment I will be using more data set okay I think that's all overall this is step by step to run the or to run and train the LLM model in the free version of Google Colab. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you.